Chair. Senator the Honorable Dr. Amy Brown was presented with the Grand Cross of the Order of Bernardo O'Higgins by His Excellency Juan Anibal Barria, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Chile to the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps on behalf of the Government of the Republic of Chile on Thursday, 2nd February 2023, in a ceremony at the official residence of the Chilean ambassador. And this morning, Dr. Brown joins us on set to be able to celebrate this award and achievement. Good morning to you, Dr. Brown. Good morning. It's good to be here. How are you doing this morning? I'm well. I'm slightly tired. We, yeah. we finished a few hours ago in the Senate of Trinidad and Tobago, dealing with some important legislation uh, connected to the fight against crime mm -hmm. in, in this country. But it's always good to be on TTT. But we appreciate you taking any time and you know, waking up early and still joining us on yeah. set. All right, so um, we also have uh, on Zoom, Kimberly D'Souza joins us as well. So um, she'll be chiming in from time to time as well. But I mean, Great. congratulations, first of all, on, on receiving this award. Thank you. I, uh, firstly, let me ask, what does it mean to you to receive this award on behalf of the Republic of Chile, or from the Republic of Chile? Well. Um, you, you started off very well uh, because I received this award on behalf of the government and the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So as minister, I'm sort of the front person, mm -hmm. uh, the, the person in the, in the headlights as it were. But behind me, and uh, the award is presented due to my work as ambassador of Trinidad and Tobago, accredited to Chile, and also as minister of foreign and CARICOM affairs. Behind me, there is always a strong team of hardworking diplomats, officers, everyone mm -hmm. connected, down to the, the, the driver and those who support the office, and also the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So for me, this award represents the warmth and hospitality of our people, the genuine people of Trinidad mm -hmm. and Tobago, our strength in diplomacy, or belief in South-South collaboration and cooperation and partnership, and our recognition that a country such as Chile is a very important international partner for Trinidad and Tobago. So while I was based uh, in South America as mm -hmm. ambassador, living in Brasilia, but uh, accredited to Chile, I would have visited the capital and other uh, districts within that beautiful country. Mm -hmm. And also Prime Minister, Dr. the Honorable Keith Rowley paid an official visit yeah. to Santiago, Chile while I was uh, during my period of service as ambassador. And uh, the connection was a very strong one and continues to be a very strong one between the two countries and uh, also personally between myself, my family, and the country of Chile. So up to today, my children always ask me, Daddy, when are we going back yeah. to visit Chile again? And I say, well, maybe after the pandemic uh, f fully settles. Uh, so that connection is strong. And as a direct response to your question, this award uh, I receive on behalf of the government because everything I would have done as ambassador and everything I'm doing as minister is guided and directed by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet of Trinidad mm -hmm. and Tobago. The Minister of Trade and Industry and all the other colleagues are part of this relationship and therefore this award so is... So they also is, share in the award? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me about some of the partnerships that would have taken place between Trinidad and Tobago and the Republic of Chile that would have inspired such an award. Well, the main one is our trade relationship, which is very strong. Chile is a market for several of our downstream products, mm -hmm. particularly in the energy sector. And we've done a lot of work to ensure that that relationship is maintained. And we've, we're very proud of our trade relationship with the nation of Chile. Uh, we are also currently negotiating a partial scope trade agreement, which will further enhance the flow of goods in both directions, mm -hmm. and which is good news for our manufacturers or producers here in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, I was lead negotiator for a period uh, with respect to that particular uh, partial scope agreement arrangement, and now it has been handed over to Ambassador 
Colin Connolly yeah. as the lead negotiator. So that is another strong connection. We also have strong connections with respect to the training of our public officials and other citizens in the Spanish language. Chile is an important source of uh, expert resource in helping us with res uh, our diplomats and other public servants mm. across the government sector and even other sectors have been benefiting from training in Spanish language. But Chile has gone far beyond that. Their ambassador here has been very active. So things like the Bocas Lit Fest yeah. and several other uh, endeavors that are very important to our people and our country. Chile has become involved and a, a very integral part of this. So it's a, a precious relationship to us, mm -hmm. and clearly it's precious to the Chilean government as well, uh, hence their recognition. Do, do we have any plans to reciprocate uh, uh, any sort of award giving? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm certainly not aware of that. There's, this is not something that's conditional yeah. or, or, or negotiated, uh, but it, 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 it is received in, in good grace and good spirit and with, with gratitude. Of course. Uh, because it is considered a very high honor as bestowed by the government of Chile. Now, now um, Minister, people always, you know, they, they, see, they see you in this position, they see you going as a diplomat, a representative of Tobago all across the world. Um, is it, how difficult rather, are some of these negotiations that have to take place? Because I mean, you try to find a common ground where everybody wins. And we know that most times in, in negotiations, everybody can't really win, but so everybody have to kind of compromise in some way, form or fashion. How difficult are these negotiations that take place? Well, there are always challenges, and these challenges apply to every field of endeavor. Mm -hmm. With respect to our international relations, I would say, not very difficult bec for several reasons. One, our foreign policy is very clear and the principles against which Trinidad and Tobago would deploy and operate are very clear mm -hmm. and are very much respected by our partners, our neighbors, those with whom we engage. Added to that is the, the fact that we have a very strong cadre of technical officers that really do the, the detail, mm -hmm. uh, the, the direct engagement, the follow-up, and that gives a sense of confidence to us, the policy makers, the ambassadors, the ministers, to know that we have that cadre uh, over the years and still maintain there, there are always sentiments that oh, they were the glory days before. We have some very good officers mm -hmm. on, on whom this country and certainly the Ministry of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs continues to rely and who do good service for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. So that makes the job a little bit easier. Yeah. We also have a strong legacy of engagement in international affairs. Mm -hmm. uh, many highly placed individuals of Trinidad and Tobago heritage are at the United Nations and all over the world, yeah. as you know. There's a trini everywhere. Everywhere you go. And that makes a tremendous difference as well. Sometimes I'd be going into a forum and the person opening the door would whisper, i minister, you know, I'm a trini too. <laughs> I'm from Point Fourteen yeah. or something like that. And it just creates an atmosphere of additional welcome and facilitation. So uh, it's something that I enjoy and as we recognize the importance of this type of engagement for the people of Trinidad and Tobago. There are many benefits in all sectors that continue to accrue based on our strong partnership, outreach, collaboration with nations and agencies across the globe. Definitely. Before we wrap, I want to get back to the, to the award just a little bit. Uh, the Grand Cross of the Order of Bernardo O'Higgins. Um, I understand, but you will give me a bit of the backstory of it, that it, it, you know, Bernardo O'Higgins would have been the founder, founding father of Chile, of the Republic yes. of Chile. Um, but the award itself is the highest uh, award that you can get as a foreigner, a civilian foreigner in Chile. From Chile. From Chile. Yes, absolutely it is. Uh, Bernardo O'Higgins Riquelme was a, a general, a military man, mm -hmm. uh, and at, at that stage he would have spent his time between 
uh, what is now known as Chile and what is now known as Peru. Ah, okay. And was very much a revolutionary, highly revered and respected in Chile and in, in Peru as well. And therefore, they've named this particular award after their after founding him. father. And several other countries have uh, a similar arrangement for, for foreigners and those who would have uh, done good work in terms of social cooperation and, and other endeavors that uh, would have been would be valued by the government by the, the president of, of Chile mm -hmm. and that government and their people and and such awards for example in in Brazil they have what is called the order of the Rio Branco Rio Branco mm -hmm. and uh, well we may have some news on that in, in the near future as well. I look forward to it, and I hope that you come back to share with us. Now, people <laughs> might be looking at the at the award and wondering, what is it? What is it made of? It looks kind of shiny, like gold. Well, but I'm not sure that it actually is gold. That's a good question. <laughs> I don't think it is gold. Uh, it's gold plated. It, it it is gold done. Gold done in, in hue. <laughs> so there's this uh, a large pin, which someone. Said looks like a, a, a sheriff. sheriff. A sheriff's yeah, badge. <laughs> Join that crew. Uh, there's it's a, what, oh, so the, the people can see it uh, yes. properly on the camera. They, there's they this wanna... red sash with blue trim, which has a, a similar, and the image of Bernardo O'Higgins is on these medals. Okay. And then it, there's a lapel pin. As uh -huh. well. So and is it that you now you're planning to wear the lapel pin? <laughs> and they are probably TNT. Um, <laughs> every, every now and then, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of my country. Right. This, this particular uh, pin was produced by the TTMA. Yes. And I wear it frequently. Uh, so now you can others. add the, the new award and to it as well. Yes. Well, From congratulations again, Dr. Brown. Thank and you thank you so much, much for waking up this morning and joining us on this new morning show. Always good to be on And all the TTT. best going forward. Thank you, my brother. No problem. So we take a quick break and we come back with more inside the now morning show. Stick around.